Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. Today we'll be taking a look into an incredibly powerful tool that's probably sitting unused on your Apple device right now. That is the Apple Notes application. Apple has been investing and adding a lot of functionality to its Notes app, making it a tool packed with features to boost our productivity while taking notes. Some of these features have really changed people's perspective of the application and it now may be capable of replacing other third-party note-taking apps. So let's dive into the video and learn about some of these features and other functionality included with the Apple Notes. Before we dive into the specifics, I want to quickly discuss the reason for this video. We often spend a lot of time searching for the best applications available in the market to suit our needs, especially when it comes to productivity or note taking. In this search, we usually turn to third party apps because in the past, we really have not been able to use stock applications like the ones that come pre-installed in your devices to create an effective productivity system. Over the next few weeks, I'll be taking a look at other stock apps included in your Apple device to see what functionality they offer and if they can potentially replace other third-party productivity applications. So keep an eye out for these videos if this is something that is interesting to you. Now, when it comes to note-taking apps, I look for three things to determine how useful an application is. These three things are structure slash organization or the ability for me to organize and search for my notes, functionalities, these are obviously the features included with the application that make my note-taking process easier and compatibility or the different ways I can interact with the application. So let's review each of these three categories when it comes to the Apple Notes app and let's start with structure and organization. So the way Apple Notes handles structuring and organization is through the use of folders. As you can see here, when I open up the application, I'm greeted in the home screen with the folders that I have already created for this app. The All iCloud and the Notes folder that you see at the very top are kind of defaulted by the application and I can't really do much about them. However, the personal and work folder that you see in this screen, I have created myself. To create a new folder so that you can start storing your notes in there, simply click the new folder icon on the bottom left, give your folder a name and click on done. You can also do something Apple calls a nested folder which is really just a subfolder. So I'm gonna click on edit again. I'm gonna select the school folder I just created. I'm gonna click and hold, and I'm gonna start moving it up and down the screen. And I'm gonna place it right on top of the personal folder. And as you can see, the personal folder becomes highlighted in gray. And I'm gonna let go. And you see how the school folder is now a subfolder as it appears a little bit more to the right underneath the personal folder. So if I click done, you see here that the personal folder now has a little drop down arrow on the right side and I can kind of hide any subfolder or nested folder as Apple calls it from showing on the screen. And again, very simple functionality is just a folder, but it does give you more organization and kind of a hierarchy for you to organize your notes. Another functionality that I wanna go over when it comes to structure and organization within the Apple Notes application are tags. And tags are just a way for you to mark notes that may be included in different folders uh, and kind of categorize them so that you can pull them up uh, a lot quicker. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's say that you are organizing a birthday party for somebody at your school, right? And you have this note with a list of students that you want to invite to the party can actually go ahead and place a, a hashtag in that note. I'm going to call this hashtag P-Day space. And once I hit the space bar, you see kind of how the hashtag turns into a tag or turns yellow, letting you know it's now has been uh, a tag has now been created for this. I'm going to click on done. I'm going to go back to the home screen and you see here now that I have a new section at the bottom called tags. If I go ahead and tap on the hashtag bday tag, I'm going to see every node that I've added the hashtag bday to. So you see here, I see the birthday party that's stored right now in the school folder within, within this tag. Let's say I go to my personal folder. I have here a personal node. Um, this may include the things I need to buy for the party, the cake, decorations, etc. This is in my personal folder, but I want to tag it with the hashtag birthday tag anyway. 
because it's all related to the same event. But I'm gonna go back to my home screen, click hashtag birthday, and I see now that the personal note also shows up in this list. Again, very simple, very straightforward, but a really powerful functionality for you to organize even further your notes within the application. Next, let's talk about smart folders. If you click on the create new folder icon here on the bottom left, you see here that after I give my folder a name, let's call this fitness, I have an option here at the bottom that says make into a smart folder. If I click on that, I see a list of filters that allow me to automatically add or put new notes or existing notes that meet the criteria that I set in these filters into this new folder, right? So let me actually cancel out of this and instead of naming it fitness, I'm going to name it birthday party, right? I'm going to click on to make into smart filter, sorry, smart folder. I'm going to select the tag filter and I'm going to say the tag hashtag birthday. So what this is going to do is any node that currently has the hashtag birthday tag will be automatically placed in this folder. Right. Let's say I go into the work folder, have this other node. I go ahead and add the birthday tag to it as well. I'm going to click on done. The node will remain within the work folder, its original place, but will also now be placed in the smart folder as it does meet the criteria of having that hashtag birthday. So not a very complex functionality, but it does allow you, allow you to quickly uh, categorize or organize your notes and have the application automatically do so um, if any of those notes meet the criteria that you set here. So I won't go through every single one of these options, but you obviously see there are quite many um, created date. You know, I, I've done, I've used that before, very useful. Um, but yeah, just go ahead and have a look into that very cool functionality. So we've covered how to structure and organize your notes using folders, nested folders, smart folders, and tags. Let's now review other functionality available within the application. So the first functionality that can expedite your note taking process that I want to go over, it's the quick note functionality. So let's say that I am in Safari right now and I'm reading an article that I want to take a note on. Instead of going to my home screen, looking for my notes app, opening it up and creating a new note, I can add an icon to my control center. And it's this one right here at the bottom, that notepad, a notepad with a little scribble on it. If I click on that, I'll get this pop-up called New Quick Note that allows me to simply add a note without having to leave the application that I'm currently on. Right, I'm gonna click on Save. Now, I'm gonna go back to my Notes app and I'll show you what this looks like. We now have a new section here added at the top called Quick Notes. If I go inside of that, I can see the note that I just created without having to leave Safari. I can leave that note there and have all my quick notes stored in a single place. Or again, if that note were to meet certain criteria for a smart folder, that will also be automatically placed inside the smart folder, right? Or you can always select it and move it yourself to whatever folder you need to. But very cool functionality that allows you to quickly take a note without having to leave the application that you're currently on. Next, let's talk about linking notes. So let me go inside of this school folder that I've created. And as you can see, I already have a couple of notes um, inside of this folder. But as time goes by and I start adding new notes, this list is gonna grow. However, I wanna keep track of four notes that are kind of my general notes for each of my classes. I have here the math, science, physics, and English 101 notes. I can obviously just click and hold the actual note and pin it so that it always remains at the top, but that's not a very clean way to, um, to do it. What I can do is I can actually create a table of contents, right? And inside this table of contents, I can kind of click and let go and I'll get this kind of menu that I'm sure you guys have seen before and I can click on add link and you can actually link directly to a node 
so that you don't have to go searching for it in a long list. So I'm going to link here English and math. Click on done. I click done. And now I can pin just the table of contents note instead of having multiple notes pinned at the very top and have that list also become very large. I can only pin the, the table of contents. I can go inside of that. I'll have the notes that I'm always looking for. You're highlighted at the top. I can simply click on it and start typing. I need to, I can go back and then jump into the math note as well. So another functionality that makes this a great note taking app is the scan text functionality. Let's say I have an essay to write for school and the professor has printed out the instructions for that essay. I'm going to click here on the camera icon inside my essay note. I'm going to click on scan text. The camera is going to appear. The Apple Notes app is going to scan the text and then I can simply insert it into my notes without me having to actually summarize or type all of the instructions myself. Lastly, I know privacy is very important for all of us and some of you may already be aware of this functionality, but you can actually lock notes um, that you want or to prevent other people from seeing. Let's say here in my personal folder, I need to hide or lock this particular note for anybody but myself. I can go inside the note itself, click on the three dots here at the top and I'll see here the lock option on the top right. Right now it is unlocked as I have accessed uh, the note myself, but as soon as I click the lock icon, the, lo the note will be locked. And as you can see, there's a little lock icon display right next to it, letting you know this note is locked. If I go inside of it, I won't be able to see anything until I click view note and then either verify through face ID or passcode and, and open this note up. So these are some of the functionalities that I think are worth highlighting and are included within the Apple Notes application that can speed up your note taking process and make you a more, a more productive note taker. However, there are obviously other functionalities. You can edit and highlight text, scan documents, etc., that are worth looking into. But I think those were the main ones that I wanted to touch on, at least for this video. Now let's talk about compatibility or what ways we can interact with the Apple Notes app. So one of the functionalities that I think makes this application very versatile is the fact that you can attach different type of media to a particular note. And you do that by clicking on the share button if you're reviewing a PDF or a voice memo, etc. Just as if you were to share it with somebody via email or text. But instead of selecting that option, you just select notes and you can create a new note or attach uh, that type of media to a particular note and you'll see it displayed in this manner. So you see here I've attached a PDF that I can click on it and it'll open up straight in the notes application. And I've also attached a voice recording from the voice memo or voice recorder app. I forget what it's called. And now they live here within this note and I don't have to go look for them in other uh, particular application. So the last point that I want to touch on when it comes to compatibility with the Apple Notes app is the fact that obviously if you are in the Apple ecosystem, you have an iPad, you have a Mac, you have an iPhone, then you'll be able to quickly interact um, with the application itself. And I think that that's just another big reason why um, this can be your next note-taking app and replace any third-party application that you may be currently using. However, for those of us that do use um, Windows, we and we want to interact with our notes in in, in our computer, then we are left to the option of using iCloud. And while it does work great, here I'm accessing the notes that I have on my um, phone with my folders here on the left side in my computer. And it seems to be um, very quick and, and fast for me to add notes from here. I do have to do this through the browser, which it's not a big deal, but I do prefer to have kind of its own dedicated application or program uh, in my computer to interact uh, with my notes. But if I do like the options and the functionality that Apple Notes offers, then I can use iCloud to access them even from a Windows computer. So there you have it. Those are some of the functionalities around structure and organization, uh, main productivity when note taking and compatibility that are included with the Apple uh, Notes app. Again, I do think that with these new functionalities and Apple seems to be evolving this application with every update. Um, I think this will become a great and powerful note taking application that may replace the or any third party apps that you may be currently using. Also, there is a fact that 
not everybody out there is a productivity head like myself and maybe you that are reviewing these kind of videos and uh, we are obsessed with finding always the best application and having access to the greatest and best functionalities available for, for productivity but not a lot of people need that right some people are looking just for something simple they don't want to install any other applications and they just want a straightforward note-taking app and for them what apple notes offers right now it's more than enough and that is great so yeah i invite you to check the application out especially if you're using something else and you haven't used it in a while check some of these features out and let me know what you think in the comments down below thank you for watching let me know of anything that i can improve and i'll see you guys in the next one